Hi! In this video, I'd like to show you a neat little workaround for creating keynote presentations with a voiceover narration right on your iPad. Now, this is a feature that a lot of people have been waiting patiently for on iOS devices. It's something you can do for years on the Mac. Simply create a presentation, hit record, and record your narration, and then export the file as a video. This never quite made it all the way to iOS yet. At the moment, there's no way of directly recording audio within Keynote on an iPad. But there are some workarounds you can use to create a similar effect. So let me show you how this would work. Go ahead and launch uh, Keynote on my iPad here. And you'll see I've thrown together a quick presentation. It happens to be about the solar system. Now here's what I'm trying to accomplish. I want to create a linked presentation that will allow users to tap on each of these solar system objects and be taken to a slide that gives an audio narrated explanation or overview of that particular object. So to get started, I've created a very basic slideshow here with this one solar system slide and then individual slides for each of the other objects in the solar system, the sun, Mercury, Venus, etc. Now these are all simply photos of each object saved from Google Images and placed onto simple black slides with the name of the object in the top left hand corner. Now being that this is going to be a linked presentation, meaning the user will be tapping on each of these objects to learn more about it, I need to create some sort of way for you to go from a slide like this one back to the home slide. So what I've done is I've gone online and found a nice little icon of a home image, which you see right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and insert that. I'll put it down here, make it a little small. And so what this will be is a way for the users to, once they're done learning about the sun, for example, tap on this and get back to the original home screen. Now, these are going to be linked but I'm going to go ahead and link those and copy them to each of the slides. I'm going to do that at the end. Now, back to my first slide. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to build my links first. So what I want to do is have the user be able to tap on the sun or any of the planets here and have that take them to the slide. So we have to create some buttons, some interactive buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a shape. And I'll start with circles. Okay, I actually have one here already. So I can put these circles over any of the objects. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put them over all the objects. But we don't want these circles to be visible. So I'm going to tap on each one. I'm going to go into my style options here, and I'm going to give it a, a zero opacity. So it's completely see-through. So you don't notice it at all now, but the shape is actually there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for each of my objects. Okay, so now I've gotten these clear, transparent, see-through buttons over each of my objects. Now I need to make them link to the appropriate slides. So the way we do that in the latest version of Keynote is we tap on the wrench icon here, and we go into Presentation Tools, and then Interactive Links. And now what I need to do is go through each of the objects and create a link. So for example, my first object is the sun here, and I want to link this to the sun slide, which is slide number two. Done. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that with each of the objects. Mercury will be slide number three. Now that I have each of my objects linked, hit done, and let's play the presentation to make sure that our links are working. Now there's one more setting I need to change before doing that. I want to make it so that this presentation is a links only presentation, meaning that it can't be navigated with the simple swiping. We want to only be navigated using those buttons that I just created. So I'm going to go into my tools, presentation tools, presentation type, and leave it on links only. Okay, so now I can play the presentation and let's check out if our links work. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the earth here and it takes us to the earth slide. Now there's a bit of a problem. I have no way of getting back to that main navigation. So I'm going to leave my presentation mode and I have to go back and deal with these home buttons here. So now I'm on my first slide. I had entered this home icon earlier. I need to make that a link. So again, I'm going to go into my settings, presentation tools, and links, tap on the home, and make it a link to the first slide. Now that I've made it a link, I should be able to just simply 
copy that icon and paste it into each slide. Now that I've pasted the home buttons in, let's test our presentation just to ensure that all our links are working properly. So I'll hit the play button and let's take a look at Jupiter. Now you see my link properly took me to the Jupiter slide. And now let's test my home button. Tapped on it and it took me back home. Perfect. All right, now that we've got a completed linked presentation, it's time to record some audio that can be inserted on each of the slides. Now, as I mentioned, it's unfortunate, but you can't do this directly within the Keynote app on the iPad. You have to go and use a third-party app. And so if you take a look on the App Store, you'll notice dozens and dozens of voice recording and voice memo apps. Many of them are free, some are paid. Most of them will work great for this. The one feature you need to look for is that the voice recording app has to have the ability to save the audio clip as a video, believe it or not, in your camera roll. What we'll do is we'll import that video onto each slide when we're done recording them. Like I said, there's many apps available. The one that I'm going to use is called Voice Recorder, and you can see the icon here. So let's go ahead and launch Voice Recorder. And this is what the interface looks like, and this is one of the reasons I like it so much. It's very clean and very simple, very easy to use. To begin recording, you simply tap on the red button down at the bottom. Now, the first narration I want to record is about my first solar system object, which in this case is the sun. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the red button and record a brief little narration about the sun. Here we go. Now that I've completed my audio recording, I can play it back and listen to it here. Uh, I don't need to do that right now, but what I am going to do is go ahead and tap on this file. And you'll see I have some options here if I slide to the left. And what I want to do is tap on the info button, and I want to rename this file to something so I'll know which one to insert. So I'm just going to call it Sun. Save. Now I can go and record audio clips for the remaining planets. Then we'll come back and insert them into the keynote presentation. All right, so now I've got a short audio clip recorded for each of my solar system objects. Let me play a little bit just so you can hear how it came out. The ice giant Neptune was the first planet located through mathematical predictions rather than through regular... You get the idea. So now the next question is, how do I get each of these audio clips from my voice recording app into Keynote? And this is the key part of the whole workflow. This app allows you to save each of these audio clips as an actual video in your camera roll. And so I'm going to go ahead and export each one as a video. Here's how you do that. You simply swipe to the left to get the alternate menu, and you tap the Share icon and Save to Photos. I'm going to go ahead and do that with each of my video clips. Now that I've shared all of these audio clips, I can actually go view and preview them right in my Photos app, which I'll show you now. If you look, they've all been saved as video clips right here, which can be imported directly into Keynote. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to go back to my Keynote presentation here, and let's go to the first slide where we need some audio, which is the slide about the sun. So on this slide, I'm going to hit the plus button and go into my camera roll and add the appropriate clip. Now the one downside is I can't see the titles of each audio clip, so it's hard to know which one I need. What I'm going to do is jump back over into my recording clip and check the time. And what I notice is that my sun clip is 40 seconds long. So I know here when I'm selecting which clip to put in, I want the 40 second clip, which is this one right here. Now I can preview it, the sun is the stop to make sure it's the correct one, which it is. When I'm ready, I'm going to tap Use. Now here's the problem. It's going to cover all my information with this video clip, which is really just audio. I don't want to see this at all. So what I'm going to do is make the movie really small, and I'm going to put it right into the middle. Now in a moment, we're going to hide this behind the image, so you won't see it at all. 
Before we move it to the back so it's hidden, we have to animate it so that it automatically plays upon the launch of the slide. To do that, I'm just going to tap the file and select Animate. I want to start the movie as a build-in, but I have to go to the options because I want it to go automatically when you get to this slide. So I'm going to select After Transition, and I'm just going to give it about a half of a second of delay. Once I'm done, I can tap Done, and let's play the slide just to see what happens. The sun is the star at the center. Perfect, but I'm going to make one little change. I don't want that big delay. So I'm going to go back and get rid of that five second delay or half second delay. I don't really need that. Now it should be perfect, but the only thing is we don't want to see it. So I'm going to tap on my image. I'm going to go into my paintbrush and I'm going to move this to the back. And now it's not visible at all. And so when you play the slide now, the sun is the star at the the audio starts automatically. So all I'm going to do is simply go into my other slides and do the same thing. So now I'm going to add my clip for my Mercury slide. So I'm going to go in here and I have to figure out which one it is. I think it was about 30 seconds. So let's check this one. Mercury is a clip. And that's it. So I'm going to tap Use. I'm going to make it nice and small. Put it in the middle and just animate it so it automatically builds in after the transition. Now I can send it to the back so it's not visible and go ahead and do this for the remaining slides. All right, so I've added all the audio clips and now it's just a matter of testing out the presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play on my iPad. And let's try it out. Let's tap on, let's say, Saturn. Saturn is probably the best known. Perfect. Let's try one more just to make sure it works properly. I'm going to tap on the sun. The sun is the star of the... Perfect. So what I've created here is almost like a mock app. It's an interactive presentation full of audio clips. Now, of course, there's dozens of ways you can use this narration. You can create a narrated digital story. You can use links or not use links. There are a variety of ways to do it. Just because it's not built into the app doesn't mean you can't create rich narrated voiceovers on the iPad. Students can create wonderful narrated digital stories, presentations, or interactive experiences as I've done right here. Thanks for watching.